Hello everybody, Kevin Kraft here in the Columbia Tour Van, Second Swing Golf. So I've started some conversation about wedges uh, in previous video and I want to kind of continue that conversation because there's so many different things we can talk about with wedges. Uh, for this particular segment, uh, I've tried to shoot it a couple times and I haven't been really happy with the results. I keep thinking of other things I need to talk about. So we're gonna try this again. So this is like take three. Uh, see if I can get this out the right way. Um, when we're fitting wedges, the important components of wedge fitting are obviously loft, you know, which is going to help us get our distance, um, stopping power, so spin. We've talked a little bit about spin in the past. And there's also grind and bounce. Uh, there's also camber, actually. Um, the things I get out, asked about the most are the, you know, what's, what's a grind on a golf club and what is bounce, what does it do, why do I want it, that kind of thing. So, um, bounce is actually fairly easy. Um, bounce is actually defined by the angle created from, if you're holding a wedge up like this, the angle created from the trailing edge of the sole out the front. So, the steeper this angle is, let's say it was like this, I got this really steep angle, that would be a higher bounce club, where one that has almost no space there would be a lower bounce club. Um, and it's all designed for types of golf swings. All right, so uh, for example, for me, I'm a sweeper with my irons. You might never know I'm on a range if I'm standing there hitting seven irons. I could probably stand in there all day long and never even take a dip. When I get into wedges, however, I like to get really aggressive and I like to get uh, into the turf. I like to flight shots up and down. And so I subsequently need a wedge that's got a good amount of bounce to it so that um, the club gets into and out of the turf. So what, what the bounce is designed to do is it's designed to interact with the turf as you get into it. So somebody that swings very, very shallow, clips the ball off the ground, doesn't take much of a divot at all, they do not need a lot of bounce, okay? Somebody like me who does get in there and really takes a pretty good sized divot, if we don't have enough bounce, it's real easy to get stuck. And junk shots, right? We don't like those. Um, so questions I'm gonna ask in a fitting you know, what kind of turf do you play in? Do you play in soft conditions? Do you play in firm conditions? You know, here in Maryland and up in Pennsylvania where I live, we're playing in combination condi conditions. We're getting rain, so some days it's soft. We're getting, you know, runs of, of good weather where it's get, you know, it gets dry. So uh, that's something to consider because the softer something is, the more likely we are to catch it heavy, the more bounce we might possibly need. Um, I'm also gonna ask what kind of misses do we have? Do you tend to hit it fat or do you tend to hit it more thin? Um, obviously we want to play into the, the positives and try and eliminate the negatives. So if you're catching it uh, heavy all the time, a little more bounce is gonna help with that. Um, also gonna talk about bunkers, right? So what kind of sand do you play in? Do you play in soft, uh, fluffy sand? Do you play in a lot of sand? Or do, you, do your bunkers you know, fairly tight packed, uh, fairly firm? Again, you know, the softer and fluffier it is, the easier it is to, to catch it heavy. We might go a little bit higher bounce in soft, fluffy sand. So that's kind of bounce in a nutshell. Um, you know, we don't want too much bounce because it's just as easy for somebody that's a sweeper to get a really high bounce wedge to get coming in and have that trailing edge actually get to the ground before the leading edge gets under the golf ball. That's going to cause us to belly it and scull it across the green. We don't want that, we don't want catching it heavy. We want a nice, good, solid turf interaction. We want enough bounce that it's helpful, but not so much that it's causing a problem, all right? Um, then let's talk about grind. So grind as a simple definition is simply going to be the design of a sole on a wedge, okay? Uh, in my hands is a 56 degree wedge this one happens to be a bokeh design. It's a uh, K grind out of the wedge works. It has no grind on it. So I'm gonna bring this in so you can see it. So this sole has no relief, okay? There's not been any material taken out of the backside, the toe, or the heel to, design, to help this club be manipulated, 
all right? Where we really need a grind is when we're gonna start manipulating golf shots, right? Uh, when I'm doing a wedge fit, if I'm doing a full set, our highest, uh, sorry, our lowest lofted wedge, you know, 48 maybe, or a 50 or a 52, depending on the individual, most of those wedges aren't gonna have a grind on them, simply because we're gonna play almost all those shots with a square face. It's when we start getting into manipulation and opening up the club face that we find that having relief is going to be very, very beneficial. What relief's gonna allow us to do is open up a golf club this way without seeing the leading edge coming up off the ground, okay? Obviously, if we see that leading edge coming up off the ground, we know if we're trying to hit a flop shot, it's gonna be a lot harder with that leading edge way up in you know, the middle of the golf ball. So a wedge that's got relief might look something like this. Again, this is a, a Vokey Wedge Works grind. Uh, this is a, a higher bounce M grind, uh, which has got relief in the toe, across the back, and in the heel. So this is what that's gonna look like, all right? And this is simply designed so that as I'm trying to hit rescue shots, you know, missing greens and hitting flop shots, and you know, we want to be able to open that club face up without the leading edge coming up too much. And there are different degrees of bounce you can get with, uh, with grinds on it, and there's different kinds of grinds you can get. Um, Vokey's got a lot of them, Cleveland's got some, Callaway's got some, pretty much every major brand has some measure of relief in their wedges. So once we identify what kind of conditions you play in and what your misses are, we're gonna know pretty easy what kind of bounce we're gonna put you in. And then the conversation is gonna turn to the kind of shots that you're gonna hit. You know, are you really gonna get deep down in there, your know, hands are gonna be low, we really wanna have that relief out of the heel, you know, uh, or do you play most of your shots with a square face? Um, you know, maybe, you know, if you've been, if you were up at 2 a.m. watching Golf Channel, you might have seen uh, an advertisement by Hopkins Golf. And uh, Hopkins said one thing that was actually really, really smart. I'm not real keen on most of the infomercial stuff, but uh, their advertising said, the guys on tour play grinds and so should you. Well, that's actually pretty true. And unless you're somebody that plays all their shots with a straight face, some sort of a grind in a wedge is going to be your friend. So get with a fitter, let's talk about the shots that you want to play, the conditions you play in, and we'll match up a bounce and a grind that's going to give you the most workability around the greens, and that's going to lower your scores. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.